Guys, I'm here with Rod and our new friends at uh, a tree tree factory, looking at the guys cleaning some of the logs back there. So, Rod, well, tell us a little bit about this. This is the preparatory work they are doing. They are just saving one one side, so so that the log when it is placed on the cutting table, it will be stable. It won't shake. Right. So that they get the perfect dimension while cutting it. That's the idea. Okay, got it. So they prepare the logs, guys. They flatten one side and for it for it not to be able to shake, or prepare it so any nuts that are present in the piece don't stock the machine. So uh, preparation stage. These are some sub products they get out of the teak. They're linings uh, for fittings on windows, and they use all this stuff. This is stuff that we can potentially sell uh, locally. I'm gonna ask pricing. They have some of the waste and they sell it for $13 a piece, mostly the communities here nearby. I just wanted to uh, put it in the books as more information, so. And the sideboards, or three by one, have no pit, clean, they're paying $400, which is $60 below the uh, full cut. He's talking about the slabs and how he's doing one and a half on the sides. This is kind of what we're talking about, to be able to do those six by twos. Uh, this guy's, get receive and cut six by twos and 12 by fours out of uh, logs that are plus a um, hundred for six by two and plus 140 um, to be able to do uh, 12 by uh, four so here's what's done you slab it edge it and um, there it goes hey guys we're here in Trishi small uh Break before we continue on our road. We've concluded two deals so far. One deal in Tutikuri, right? And, and another one in Trichi. And another one out here in Trichi. So we have newfound friends in far places now here in India. Thanks for our friend Radha, our new uh, Tik Guru, uh, who's bringing us around India. Uh, he has been a great addition to our team and we look forward to solidifying our relationships here in Indian territory. Anything else to say, Radha? Guys, we have a couple of hours time before we catch our flight to Chennai and we have come here to Sri Rangam Temple which is one of the very sacred places in India and grand architectural thing. Marvel, right? Yeah. Alright, that's right. So we're going to be heading out of here and we're going to go on our way back to uh, Chennai where we're going to be receiving a couple more uh, proposals, counter proposals on our cargo here in India and solidifying hopefully one or two more relationships uh, in Chennai. We're going to be now present in Chennai, Tutikurin, and we're going to be present as well here in uh, Trishi. All right, that's all we got for you guys. Catch you in the next stop. All right, cool. So we have here prepared logs. They take one and a half inch from one side. Both sides or, or just one side? One side, one side. One side, one side. One side, one side. So it's flat on the bed. Yeah, that right. is the main reason to do this. Right. Otherwise, that, um, that uh, it, will shake, will it will shake away. Yeah. Right. And you guys take off all the knots, any imperfection. Yeah, will be taken. The bark's off too, right? The bark is off too. Right. The wood becomes light and the table is yeah. flat on the table. It can be used over there. Processing can be done over there. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So I'm here with Mr. Shaitan, Mr. Dharam, and our Radha. tip guru, uh, Radha Krishna. And uh, we just made this cut of uh, four by two and a half size uh, here in Chine. This is a commercial grade quality. Just wanted to show you this. We're potentially going to be building a relationship with this uh, family business. They've been kind enough to welcome us at their mill. And uh, you guys can see a little bit of what this looks like. We've learned a lot today and we're going home back, back home with a lot of knowledge uh, to be able to fulfill the grading they're looking for. So we'll catch up with you guys next time. Yeah, this is made out of the log with a girth size of 54. Right, right. So this is cut from a 54 girth uh, log without bark that would make it yes. yeah, 56 bark. to 57 yeah. with no, bark. No, probably you have to add four. Four? Yeah, 58. So uh, 58. 58, 58 girth yeah. with bark. Pagadabhi. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Fine. Hey guys, my last day here in Chennai. We're about to review some cargo and some of the things that we're looking at here. So come here with me. Sir. 
It was it was some of our initial cutting. I think we're doing some fine tuning on the. Uh, you see, this on, on the all right. the sides I feel. On this side it was there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, on below it is below it is there. Yeah, here it is there. Here it is not there. Mm -hmm. On two sides it is there, sir. Mm -hmm. That cutting issue, with two sides it is there. Yeah, I think it's the secondary cutting where there may be some wobbling. And Edelbert, this goes out to you. We have to look out for that. Ultimately, look, I mean, we're given some allowance that allows the size to be actual at three by four, for example, in this case. But ultimately, you know, it's a risk that one of these pieces could become less than three by four. We can't let the logs dry for too long, right? Yeah. And uh, because ultimately they'll start cracking at the ends and anything that's got a crack within, right? This is really good cargo here. A small here, crack will develop into a big crack. Will develop into discount, basically. Yeah, yeah length, we right? have to discount it. So the material that we're using is good enough. This guy's makes it with a little bit of glue, but this is a really good representation of how the, the cracking is being kept at bay. And yeah. that's really good. This will decrease our claims. This is very good. Look at this. It's very nice.